Hello everybody, we're gonna talk about a, a difficult issue when you're deadlifting. Sometimes your shoulders will kind of sway away from your hip center. So if my hip line comes up this way, you can see that my shoulders then, I can't keep my hands there, my shoulders then come outside where they're supposed to be. This is a good mechanism for uh, finding your weight evenly. So oftentimes I like to cue push evenly between both legs while you're doing uh, your deadlifts. Try to keep your weight evenly on both feet. And there's a couple ways that I can manipulate my weight, right? I can just move my arms this way and I feel it more in this foot over here, right? And vice versa over on this side. Likewise, if I am trying to shift my weight over onto my right leg because that's more comfortable for me and then my coach says, feel your feet evenly. Sometimes instead of shifting back to the left, what people do is they shift their shoulders only to the left. And what I'm looking for is the hips to come and center everything down. So when I see something like this, what I'm thinking is not you have a shoulder problem. What I'm thinking is you have a hip problem. There's some reason that your hip is avoiding using its muscles, using the glutes. They're not turning on. Why aren't they turning on? Well, we have to look into it. But if um, generally the, the glute that you're trying to shift your shoulders toward is the one that's not turning on, right? If I feel a lot of weight on that side, then I'm using that glute a little bit more. But if I don't feel weight on that side, then I'm not using this side glute as much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a way to feel that glute while my hip is secure over that way. One of my favorite exercises to do is I just have people lay down. <laughs> They're gonna put your, generally you're gonna put your feet on the wall, but I think it's gonna be easier to see if I turn this way in my, <laughs> my small little room here. Um, basically what I want is first, I need to round your back, okay? And that takes some of the tension out of the hip flexors and lets us find the glutes. Okay, so round your back. Second thing, the glute that I wanna find is on top, okay? What we need to do is shift into that hip, okay? So I'm gonna pull the top knee forward because that's the glute I'm trying to find. And I'm gonna, going to stretch into that hip that way. Okay, so we've got two things that we've done so far. Rounded back, shifted back. Rounded, <laughs> rounded low back, that's confusing. Rounded low back, shifted knee back. Okay, third thing. I'm gonna pretend my midsection is like an accordion, right, and it bends on the sides. And I'm gonna try to shorten the left side. So I try to bring this hip up toward this shoulder, just like this. Okay, let's say worst case scenario, it's way down here and that's not what I want. I'm only gonna feel my hip flexor here. So instead, I wanna hike the hip up, keep the back rounded, but hike the hip up. Then I can feel my ab. Good, I like it. Okay, so three things we've done. Round low back, pull knee back, bring hip up. So far, three words. We'll see if I can keep it. Um, next one, to make this more difficult now, it's possible to feel the glute here. I feel it a little bit right now, but generally, if I need that glute to support me, I'm gonna need to do a little bit more so that I can feel it. I'm gonna need to shorten it a little bit more. And in particular, what I've noticed is that when you have this shoulder sway, it's not that you need the meaty back side of the glute, it's that you need the smaller front side of the glute to help you out. Okay, so we've done our other three cues, and now I'm gonna just turn my foot up, okay? Now I feel the glutes stay on. If I feel my hip flexor come on, I know that I have lost the other things. So I'm gonna come back down, reset around your back, pull knee back, hike hip up, and then I can turn my foot again. Okay, and I got it, good. 
So, this is probably enough. This is a great exercise from the Postural Restoration Institute. Um, highly recommended. One thing that I like to do that I don't think a lot of people talk about sometimes is sometimes I'll let you bring the top knee away from the bottom knee because I think that helps you feel your glute a little bit more. Instead of pinning it down this way, now I can feel this glute even extra. But what I want is I wanna make sure that you still feel an inner thigh muscle. So we're gonna make sure that you keep your knee back. That's the first, second cue that we talked about, right? We need to pull that knee back. Okay. So I'm just holding this position. Hopefully you're doing this with me. And I feel hella glute. That's much or many glute. Whoo, baby. Okay, so what I do there is not, it's not that I'm strengthening the glute. I think that is, that can be part of it, but the idea here is I'm positioning the glute so that it can work, right? If I have this shoulder sway and I can't get the glute to fire, I, I don't think you're gonna be able to cue it. I think it's not working because you just can't do it right now. So we do exercises like that one to remind your body how to do it. It gives you one, the memory, the, the you know, representation of yourself like, hey, I could be a person who uses this glute because I remember how to do it. And two, it positions, mechanically positions your hips so that those glute muscles can turn on easier. Before, they're just really long. If I'm stuck, my hips are stuck over on this side, those, that front of that glute that we were trying to get, it's just really long and it's not weighted, so it doesn't know how to turn on. Um, Long's probably not the right word, but don't worry about it. It's just, it's having trouble turning on. Uh, whereas this one is, is probably a little bit more long because you're sitting into it, but it's always on, all right? It feels tight because it's stretched so long and it's being pulled to shorten, right? Anyways, we don't have to talk about that too much. This is a complicated problem. Okay, if you have this going on during your deadlift, I don't want to sugarcoat this, and that's why this video is not simple, but I have given you, as simple as I can, one exercise that I like to use when I see something like this. Find that glute and see if you can keep that same side inner thigh and that same side lower inner ab while you do those things, okay? That's going to secure your hip so that you can find the glute and so that you can actually load that side without just swaying your shoulders over.